good data determinants which are the yield percentage, we have the cost per suburb kg, portion cost, the yield and number of portions obtainable. And these are the formulas. The formula for getting the yield percentage is equal to yield divided by original weight multiplied by hundred. So we have another cost per suburb kg which is equal to total purchase price divided by yield or you can use another formula which is cost per kg multiplied by 100% divided by yield percentage. Then we have the portion cost. The portion cost is equal to total purchase price divided by number of portions. And we also have the yield. Yield is equal to original weight minus total loss. Then the last thing is the number of portions obtainable is equal to yield divided by portion size. Now I have already zoomed through the question that I want us to calculate using these formulas. So the question I'm saying, uh, don't weigh 20 kg is purchased at 120 shillings per kilo. The bond loss is 30% of the original weight and the cooking loss is 3.6 kg. Calculate the full length loss to two decimal, place, uh, decimal points. You calculate the yield, you calculate the yield percentage, cost per suitable kg, the cost factor, the portion cost, the number of 200 grams portions obtainable, and then we calculate the selling price per portion to obtain a 35% gross profit margin. So the first thing that we are supposed to calculate, we are supposed to look at the yield. We wanted to look at the yield, pass at uh, the yield. How do we calculate the yield? According to the formula, yield is equal to original weight minus total loss. So you have to write the formula which is original weight minus original weight minus total loss. So do we know the original weight according to the question? According to the question, original weight is 20 kg. So here you write 20 kg minus the total loss. The total loss, we look at what is the total loss. So the total loss is equals uh, bond loss, which is 30%, we write here, 30% of the original weight. So if they say 30% of the original weight, and already we know the original weight, which is 20%, it will be 30 over 100 multiplied by 20. That is the original weight. Then we also have another loss, which is uh, plus cooking loss. The cooking loss is 3.6 kg plus 3.6 kg. That is the cooking loss. So 0 goes, 0 goes, 0, 0 goes. So it will be 6, 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6 plus 3.6 kg. So when we have this, we get 9.6 kg. So the yield is equal to original weight minus the total loss. So the original weight is 20 kg minus 9.6 kg which is will get 10.4 kg 10.4 kg that is the the yield now now we are not supposed now to look at the yield percentage the yield percentage according to the formula there is formula which is the yield divided by original weight multiplied by 100 remember always to be writing the formulas the yield divided by original weights original weight multiplied by 100. Do we know the yield? Yes, the yield you have gotten which is 10.4 kg divided by original weight. The original weight is 20 kg multiplied by 100. So here it will be 10, uh, 10 over 10 well, because of the decimal we say over 10. Then multiplied by 100 divided by 20. So this 0 goes, this 0, 0 goes, 0 goes. So by 2, 1, by 2, 52. So it is 52 percent. That is the yield percentage. We have gotten the yield percentage. So after getting the yield percentage, now we are supposed to look at the cost. Cost per suburbo kg. Per suburbo kg. Where we say the formula is the total purchase price, total purchase price 
divide by yield. How do we get the total purchase price? The total purchase price we are going to take uh, the 20 kg, which is original weight, 20 kg, which is original weight. Then the question said is purchased at 120. So we multiply by 120 divided by yield. Yield we have already calculated and we have that is 10.4 kg. So kg goes, kg goes. So it will be 20 over 104 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 120. So when we calculate, we are going to get 230.77 shillings. 0.77 shillings. So we said when we are calculating the cost per sample kg, you use two formulas, and that is the first formula that we have used. We want to look at the other formula. Is it going to give us the same thing? So the other formula is the cost per kg multiplied by 100 percent divided by yield percent. So cost per kg is how much? The cost per kg is 120. Cost per kg is 120 multiplied by 100 percent divided by yield percentage, which is 52 percent. So when you calculate, you are going to get the same answer, which is 30.77. So you can use either formula that you want to calculate that. So having looked at that, now we look at the cost factor. We look at the cost factor. We look at the cost factor. And how did we say the formula of getting the cost factor is what? Uh, the formula of getting the cost factor is cost per sample kg is equal to cost per sample kg sample kg divided by purchase price purchase price or cost per kg cost per kg so cost per sample kg is what cost per sample kg we have already calculated and we have gotten it to 30.77 shillings divided by purchase price or cost per kg and the purchase price we know the cost per kg the purchase price we are being told uh, 20 kg is purchased at 120 shillings per kilo, so divided by 20. So we are going to get the cost, the cost factor is 1.9. So that is how to get the cost factor. The other thing that we are supposed to calculate is the portion cost. Portion cost. And the formula for getting the portion cost is the total purchase price. Total purchase price. Divide by number of portions. Number of portions. Total purchase price divided by number of portions. And the total purchase price, total purchase price, we are going to get 20 multiplied by 120. So it is 20 multiplied by 120, so that we get the total purchase price. Then number of portions, the formula for getting number of portions obtainable. Number of portions obtainable is equal to divided by portion size. You divide by portion size. So the yield we already know what is the yield, and when we calculated the yield, we got is ten point four kg. Ten point four kg. Then the portion size, according to the question, the last uh, the last is say the number of 200 grams portions obtainable. So we are being told is 200 grams obtainable. So if you look at this, we have kilograms and we have the grams. So you need to convert them to kilograms. So we say 1,000. Uh, grams is equal to 1 kg. What about 200 grams is equal to how many kgs? 
So it will be 200 divided by 100 other that. So that goes, that goes. So it will be 0 0.2 kg. So having gotten to, to 0 0.2 kg, we are going to take the original which is 10.4 kg divided by 0 0.2 kg. So when you divide, uh, you are going to get the 52 portions. So we have gotten these 52 portions. And our, for our we are calculating portion cost, which I've said is the total purchase price divided by number of portions. So it will be we have gotten 20, it will be 20 multiplied by 120 divided by number of portions. So when you calculate, you are going to get uh, 46.15 shillings. That is the answer. And that is the, the portion cost. Then we are also supposed to calculate uh, the last thing, which is the selling price per portion to obtain 35% gross profit margin. And when you look at, when you are calculating gross profit margin, gross profit, uh, when we are calculating gross profit, we say is equals total sales, total sales minus material costs. Material cost and the material cost is the same as the portion cost. So total sales we always know it is hundred percent. So minus x is equals to uh, is equals to the gross profit we are given, which is thirty five percent. So having this equation, we want to calculate what is x percent. So it should be thirty five percent minus hundred percent is equals negative x. So 35 minus 100 percent, it is going to give us 65, negative 65 percent, which is, is equals negative x. So divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. When we define uh, 65, it will be 65. Now we have known what is the portion cost and what is the material cost. So, 65% is the same as what we got the bottom as the portion cost, which is 46.15. So what about 100%? 100% will be what? It will be 100 divided by 65 multiplied by 46.5. So when you calculate, you are going to get uh, 71 shillings. And that's how we calculate the, the portion and the selling price. So make sure that you reverse and you calculate. And we know the more you practice, the more you know. Thank you.